All right, everybody. Hello. So today we're going to talk about one Hansu, one character. That's Ke. Ke. Look at how it's written. How many strokes it has? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine strokes. Why is it important to remember the strokes? Because it's going to help you remembering how it's written. You know, every every character takes time to remember. So the more, the bigger the story you create about each character, the easier it's going to become to remember it. All right. So. Also remember the radicals, which radicals it has and uh, how it can be combined in the future. All right, uh, here are the combinations we have with different characters, other Hansu, and we're gonna have a look at these other characters in the future, if we don't have already. All right, so let's have a look at the characters, the Pinyin and the English. All right, Koku, Koku. Hard working. Koi, 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 koi. Meticulous, painstaking. Kohua, kohua, portrait, portrait. Ke bu rong huang. Ke bu rong huang. To brook no delay, to demand immediate action. Ke yin, ke yin. To engrave a seal, stamp a mark. All right, so we have, we have ke yi, ke yin. Look at the yi, look at the yin. All right. Now there's also patterns, similarities in the meaning. Hardworking, meticulous, painstaking, portrait, not really. No delay, demand, demand immediate action. Well, you have to do it right now, hardworking. Mm -hmm. Engrave a seal, stamp a mark. All right, you do it hard perhaps. We, we find some type of a pattern here where we have K in the beginning of the word, of the combination. Now let's look at ke at the end of the combination. Li ke, forthwith, immediate. Sheng ke, profound, deep. Shi ke, moment, constantly. Zi ke, this moment. Tiao ke, to carve. All right, so we find again another pattern and similarities when we have ke at the end of the combination of characters. And again, it has to do with moment, with work, and such. Not in all the cases though, because perhaps the other character has a uh, stronger meaning in the combination. All right, now let's drill some, some uh, for a moment here. Ke ku, ke ku, ke hua, ke hua, ke yin, ke yin, ke yi, ke yi, ke yi, ke yin, ke bu rong huang, ke bu rong huang, ke ku, ke bu rong huang, ke hua, ke hua, ke yi, ke yin. Now let's look at the meaning again, hardworking, assiduous, meticulous, painstaking, to portray, to book no delay, to demand immediate action, to engrave a seal. Again, hardworking, insidious, ke ku, meticulous, ke yi, to portray, ke hua, to, to brook no delay, ke bu, ke bu rong huang, to engrave a seal, stamp a mark, to leave a deep impression, ke yin, leave a, leave a deep impression, ke yin. Look at the characters. Now let's drill a little bit here to the right. When we have the character on the right side, we have Li Ke, forthwith, immediate action. Sheng Ke, Sheng Ke, Sheng Ke, Shi Ke, Shi Ke, Shi Ke, Zi Ke, Zi Ke, Zi Ke, Zi Ke, Dia Ke, Dia Ke, Dia Ke, Sheng Ke, Li Ke, Zi Ke, Shi Ke, Dia Ke, no sorry, Dia Ke, Dia Ke, Sheng Ke. Let's look at the English. Forthwith, profound, moment. This moment to carve immediate action. So every character you have to you have to give it give it your attention at the beginning because later on you will have seen this character many times and you will not remember how to write it, how what 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 it was it meant, and when you see it again it was like oh yeah I kind of seen it but I don't remember what it is what it was and all that. So let's make it easy for ourselves. All right, visit a great site where you will learn Chinese on a daily basis, Chinese, Chinese, English, and Pinyin, sometimes even the audio. There you go, that's for today, see you tomorrow.